Can you hear me? Yeah. Can Am you I hear recording? Me? Double check. Yep, yep, yep. It's all good. Oh my god, it's a thousand degrees. Hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> Courthouse Cafe, our favourite cafe in Alexandria. Oh my gosh, that croissant with custard. Chantilly custard. Can't believe you were scooping it out with your big fat fingers. Well, I didn't want to waste the chantilly cream. It was <laughs> Get your ass on. <laughs> 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 Thank you, you've had enough. I was like, stop. <laughs> I couldn't, it was just amazing. And I was I felt sick actually, but I, I don't know why. <laughs> so nice. Uh, oh, my little piggy. I don't normally eat sweet stuff. That was something else though. I hate this roundabout, it's so bloody dodgy, isn't it? Well, it's not a roundabout, but or, yeah. Or whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh the, that coffee just hit the spot though. Oh, I'm going to be wanting to wee every five minutes. That was massive. I'm just thinking, where is the next um, stop? Is it Naseby? Naseby. Oh. <laughs> well, it's you not might... far. It really isn't far. Uh, you might have to pull over to the side of the road. Are we going to say hello to everyone, or are we just going to... Uh, yes, hello everybody. <laughs> Tubbs is back, yay! Oi! <laughs> I mean, Kim is back, yay! I've decided I don't like that nickname anymore, everyone. Okay. So, um, I'm going to think of a much cooler one. Um, yeah, anyway, so hi, we're off to Naseby, uh, which is a really cool little spot in the middle of central Otago. Um, and we're just going to have a little wander around there and do well, the footage. And we're going to stay there for the night, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Yeah. And um, it's a cool wee spot. So it's a bit of an adventure, because we've been once before with the kids, haven't we? Yeah, that was a couple of years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, but we figured it's, the weather has just been sublime lately, like in the 30, like 30 degrees. Every day. every day, yeah. Really boiling hot, and we're just, oh, we've got to do something, go for a ride, so going to do an overnighter. Do you know how much rain they've had this month, November? Oh, it's like four millimetres. No, 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 it's half a millimetre. I oh. checked. Yeah, that's, oh. all, that's all it's rained. Oh, my gosh. So this summer is going to be one of those scorches where it's just... Like yeah, it doesn't it rain for months and months yeah. and months and months and months. Everything dies, eh? Yeah. The, old, the hurly flyer was going, it's going to rain this weekend. I was like, dude. Nah. <laughs> it didn't get away for the next seven months. <laughs> now, because I saw the weather um, last night, and it did, oh, I think you saw it too, the huge high. Yeah. It's just encompassing the whole of the bottom, you know. Yeah, and usually when you get a big high like that, it just stays, doesn't it? Yeah, and it will just still gradually move its way up, I suppose, but it's enormous high, and it's going to last for ages, so. Yeah. So sorry to disappoint everybody. But it's another amazing day in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what is it at the moment? It is. Hold on, I'll have a look. Have a look on your 25, just okay. nice morning temperature. And it's not even lunchtime yet, so. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it may not sound very hot, but the sun here is extremely strong. Yeah, we have absolutely no ozone. So it's the burn time's about 10 minutes if you're a expose your skin to the sun here you are going to get burnt and you can spot the tourists a mile oh, away can't you because they're all like glowing pink a million miles away <laughs> yeah. they've got a nice pink glow on yeah, yeah. <laughs> here absolutely everybody wears shades and a hat like i never take my shades off i know well you can't not wear sunglasses because you burn your eyes and, yeah um you actually you just can't you can't the sun is just way too strong and bright yeah um, you do make well, we're surrounded color. by sea as well, which I think makes it brighter. Oh, I think so, because it reflects off the, off the water. Well, I'm thinking because it is incredibly bright here. Yeah, it is very bright. But um, we also don't get much cloud coverage at all, do we? When it, I mean, this is a cloudy day for New Zealand. Yeah, this is a little bit cloudy, but it's still pretty hot, isn't it? Yeah. So anyway, you were back, yay! Yay! <laughs> well, actually, I'm back. Thomas will be back for a while, but um, 
I've just been very busy and last weekend I was very sick recovering from a Se- hangover. Self-induced <laughs> hangover. Too. But it's all Tom's work, mate, that we're blooming putting shots in front no, of me. No, no, hold on a minute. We... <laughs> That's how it happened. Okay, but there was a point at the night where I said, right, it's time to go home. I could see you were starting to sway. Uh, And uh, (laughs) you had that look in your eyes. I was like, "Uh uh-oh, this is going to be trouble. Yeah. (laughs) And I was like, let's go home. And you were like, no, we're going to another pub. I was like, oh, gosh, here we go. Well, it was actually Jordan, this is our son, who um, talked me into it. He's going, come on, mum, just come with us. He can go home, he's an old man. And I was like, I'm going to go with the young one. And it was a bad mistake. But anyway, Tom ended up coming too, but he didn't want to leave me. So I kind of forced him to come and drink more. Oh, I had a good time. I actually really enjoyed it. At the Irish pub, it was hilarious, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. And then we walked home, played home, I should say. Um, and Tom drank probably more than I did, which was about 20 shots and oh my goodness tequila and and vodka and i reckon yeah because uh, we we were also drinking before we met you you realize as well oh right yeah all day yeah because you went on your boys uh, yeah thing at uh, racing at the cromwell i'd forgotten about that so those boys have been drinking beer all day as well and then tom got up in the morning and right at the button and it was like oh just go for a ride, the weather's amazing. And I was like, ready to spew my guts up. <laughs> and I was just so green about the girls, and I said, I am not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and he went off and had an awesome day, and I was really gutted. I did, I did. I had an awesome day. I had a really nice day with Dune and uh, Aaron, had a nice ride. It was awesome. Yeah. That was fine. And I just felt sorry for myself today. And a lesson learned. Oh, that's bullshit. You say that every time. <laughs> but if somebody puts shots in front of you, it's hard to just say, oh no, and when they're bullshit you. Anyway, so that was last weekend, but anyway. The amount of times I've heard you say, that's the last time ever. Yeah, but <laughs> You've been saying that for 10 years. Well, it's like having children, you know, if you, you do it the first time, you're going, oh my gosh, that was the most excruciating, painful experience of my life. I'm never doing that again, of course you do. And then you have another one, yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Anyway, we're off to Naseby, as we said, which is a tiny, 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 tiny little place, population about 100. But it's really, really interesting. It's one of New Zealand's old, old gold mine in town old for New Zealand anyway we're talking 150 years old and um, well actually is it more than that probably 200 years old uh, it's pretty pretty old I mean it's when they very first came to New Zealand yeah. and Otago is a massive gold mining go area. on say your date the date yeah your date that you say every time oh like it's 1816 uh, 1868 something like that <laughs> 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 you just say that for everything. Oh, well, I better find out and get my facts right. Because yeah, I'm not sure. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll try and put up some information about Naseby. But the reason that we're going is it's got super, super cheap accommodation at the campsite. Um, you rent a tiny, tiny little shed, don't you? With it, it's like, yeah, basically, it's, it's got it's got a door. You open and the door, and then there's a double bed, and that's yeah. it. And it's tiny like we'll show you they're, yeah. they're, they're really cool they're like little um, little wee cabins and it's a called the larch view and they've got these giant big larch trees it's really pretty actually oh yeah i forgot about the trees actually um and at the if you walk up to the back of the campsite up in a you know sort of around those parts there's all the old gold mining pipes and equipment and it's really cool actually yeah so that's what we want to explore more because we had the kids last time didn't we? we went on a little stroll but we actually want to go on a bit of a hike today yeah this afternoon and and uncover a bit more of the gold mine and stuff because it is amazing it's pretty cool um it is very hot we will need some hot won't we sorry i said it's very hot we will need to put some stuff on did you bring some i did oh good 
little bit of snow over there. There's still a bit of snow around on the tops of the mountains, isn't there? Uh, yeah, so that's our little adventure this weekend. We hope you enjoy it. Yeah, welcome along. <laughs> oh, we watched this week. So we recorded Game of Thrones about, I don't know, six months ago, didn't we? And we've been recording them. We saved up all the episodes and we just watched the whole of season seven in one week. We just and just gorged, gorged didn't we? It was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, so we, we taped it all on uh, one of the TV channels this way for ages. And we were so tempted to watch it. And we're like, no, no, no. No, we, we waited and waited and waited till the timing was just right. We usually just like wait till the, the next season comes out and then we gorge on one and then follow on to the next. That's right. Yeah. I'm hoping the next one isn't too far away because it's a long time since it came out. But this season is, oh my gosh, amazing. It's the best season yet by amazing. far. Yeah. For those of you that don't watch Game of Thrones, it's pretty good. It is so it's, amazing. I think definitely Walking Dead is like our series, isn't it? Oh, well, having seen that Game of Thrones season now, I've... I've uh, admittedly, that Game of Thrones season, season seven, was amazing. It is amazing. It is amazing. I have to say, I'd enjoyed it more than The Walking Dead, but I still absolutely love The Walking Dead. I mean, it's it, oh, just so clever. Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, yeah, so... I don't know, I just um, kind of given up a little bit on House of Cards, although that was very Yeah, good. well we've watched all of House of Cards now, we're down to the last few episodes, but there's only so much American politics you can take before it sort of yeah, but starts it's, getting you angry. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's a really good political drama and it's like, he's such a deviant. Oh, yeah. They, they both are actually, it's just... I think I definitely like fantasy better than the sort of real life political, like yeah. I, I'm definitely a Game of Thrones slash Walking Dead guy over politics and, although it was quite an interesting series. The Punisher looks good, it's probably not your thing. What? But I've been waiting for The Punisher to come out for a long time. Oh, I haven't heard about that one. What's uh, that it's a Marvel comic one. Uh, but he's a he's a badass. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, not your no, probably not your yeah, thing to be no. honest. But that's been us, hasn't it? Really, like it's been work, Netflix, and work. Is that your life? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is your this is your life. It's work, oh the Lord, Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is pretty much. Really and Path of Exile, all. like I play, I play Path of Exile every now and then. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but not often, because it's been so hot. Yeah, too hot to play nice. computer games. That's definitely a winter thing for me, is computer games. You like mowing the lawns, though, don't you? I like mowing the lawns, because it's the only time I get to listen to my rave music. Yeah, so Tom puts his happy hardcore on, and he bounces <laughs> around the garden, like mowing the lawns. It's really funny to watch. I'm actually going to film you. No, don't ever film me. It's so funny. <laughs> Cracker. <laughs> um, so we're actually kind of on a bit of a time frame, because we're meeting Ron yeah. and a couple of his mates at the pub in Naseby. Uh, what time is it? It is, it is quarter to twelve. Ah, okay, so we've got fifteen minutes. To get there. Well, no, we're already. We said eleven thirty. Oh right, I think it's twelve. Um, but okay. I, I don't worry. I texted him and told him we'd be a little bit late. It'll be just drink a beer. Oh yeah, they'll be fine. Yeah, they'll be, they'll be fine. Um, what town's this then? Um, is this Omacow? Oh, Macau. Oh, Macau, yeah. Oh, Macau. Is there a Maori pronunciation? Uh, Omaku? Uh, no, it'd be Omakau. Omakau. Those lovely trees, though. I was just they? thinking the same thing, yeah. Oh, really round. <laughs> round and, and very green. <laughs> Chrissy, how come we don't have those in outside? We don't have them trees, actually, no. Really nice, don't they? Yeah. No idea. I might take um, a leaf and take it 
take it into his work and get the garden leaves to tell me what it is. Or not. There's the oh, Omacow yeah. Cafe. This is the commercial tavern. Yeah, so uh, that was Omacow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little bobby calves. Don't they kill the bobby calves? Uh, they do, they eat them. Poor buggers. Actually, you know what? I have, have not seen seal down here. Veal? Veal. Which is baby cow. No, I haven't seen veal in years. Yeah, veal is, um, well that's obviously bobby car, but I don't, they, you can't get it down here. It's no, you dead. can't. Which is probably quite good that they're not killing them, but... Get a bit, bit bad eating them. It's probably the wrong type of cow for veal probably got to be a special type of cow because they're just scrawny milking cows aren't they really they're not oh, they're yeah, not meat right. not um, meat cows not like I don't I'm, <laughs> I'm not a cow expert but well <laughs> I'm guessing you need like a beef cow you know like a, it'll be a special breed like, beef, like, like yeah like a beefy like an Angus <laughs> like an Angus for example that's a the beef eating cow and <laughs> They probably don't milk Angl Anguses. Oh. Well, the the new prime minister said she was halving the amount of immigrants. Wow. From, it's from seventy thousand a year to thir to thirty thousand oh, yeah, a right. year. That's yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 And she's coalition with them, so yeah. 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 Which is, it's a it's a tough subject because I kind of I understand where they're coming from. But I, I don't. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. So many Which buttons button? on this. But I'm just putting the cruise control on. Um, right. Half a part of me agrees that there needs to be stricter with immigration. But also part of me disagrees with it. You know, it's good to have a diverse society of different people coming in and going, and you know. Yeah. So it's it's you know to. It's a difficult subject. I'm not sure where I feel what I feel about it, to be honest. It's quite a difficult one. Like um, refugees, obviously. We well, refugees to... aren't immigrants, I and know. that's where people get confused. I know, but a lot of people don't like the refugees coming. But yeah, but you absolutely to. should take refugees of should, as you know? many as possible. I know because I yeah. these poor people have lost their like, well, everything. But that's right. Yeah, they're you're helping people out, and the thing about refugees is they want to go home. Yeah, so you know, I mean, they they what they want to wait till the war's over or whatever. Then they they want to go back to their native land. So uh, there, there's that's a big difference between an immigrant that wants to wants leave, to you know, and work. Yeah, but a lot of the refugees their land to be bombed. There's nothing left. Yeah, but they want to go home, babe. They you know, if that's their home. That uh, yes, anyway. some of them do stay, but. I don't. I personally don't believe we take enough refugees. I think we take. What do we take? We take. Um, I'm not sure. Actually, it's only like a couple of thousand a year. No, 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 no. It's 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 a it's a tiny, tiny amount. I'll but have they to. They want to raise it. The Labour wants to raise it. The Labour government. Yeah, they do. Don't they? <clears throat> yeah, they do. They do. I'm pretty sure they do. Which is good. They should raise it. They should. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, when you've got the story. ability to help somebody like that, you should help. Of course you should. Yeah. Um, but immigration, you're right. No, they've um, they've cut that right back. It's actual. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the next three years that they are in government. Yeah. It never ceases to amaze me how in the middle of nowhere we are. I know. There's just no roads, no roads, no roads, no roads. And then one that's road, that's one that's road that's through the middle. <laughs> I know that's New Zealand for you. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. This is amazing. You can just see the road stretched out in front of you, like cutting through the. What's that? Yeah, I know you can see it. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. But nothing. Like, if you were to walk in that direction there. 
you could pretty much walk straight up the middle of the whole of the South Island and not hit any roads. Yeah. Because there's nothing up the middle. We're heading west to east at the moment. What's the temperature now? Oh, nearly hit that bird. Temperature, I reckon, yes, yeah, dropped. It's 20 degrees. Oh, wow. We're That's very cool. high up here, remember? Yeah. This is the spot where they do the dog sledding. Oh, right. Don't they? In Naseby is where they oh, do yeah, the they do right. the ice curling, dog sledding. Yeah, it's they a, do that, right. Yeah, it's a cold area. I phoned the guy, said it's 25 degrees at night, which is pretty good. But then again, it's quite a lot cloudier today. It's just pretty cloudy over there. It's quite interesting as well because this is a dead end road, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you, there is the Danzies Pass that you oh, can go Danzies through. Pass. Yeah, yeah, but it's all gravel. It's all gravel. It's a dirt road. But the Danzies um, Pass is supposed to be amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but it's um, it, unfortunately it's all gravel. It's yeah. Got a, a historic hotel there, which is really awesome actually to stay there, and they do all the meals and stuff. And like we did. We've original. done. <clears throat> we've done up to that, haven't we? We've done like the first 15 kilometres of the Danzies Pass in the car, but we've yeah, never been over the pass. That's supposed to be great. Seems to take freaking ever, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it does on a dirt road. You just feel oh, like you're never getting anywhere. Did you see that Randfilly back road? No. Ah, well, there's a shortcut to Randfilly there. Well, there's bound to be dirt roads all over the place here, babe. It's very pretty, a bit of forest. I think the forest is owned by um, the Japs. Right, this must be it. Shame the sun's gone in. Indoor thing. curling rink. So yeah, it's kind of like a little mini Canada. <laughs> yeah, a tiny weenie. Yeah. Canada. Oh. There's all the old gold mining tools and stuff. Here we go. This is the metropolis of Naseby. <laughs> As you can see, it's classically busy. Chocker, man. Chocker. Okay, so this is an original gold mining town. Yeah, and it's the um, real deal. And it's, it's deal. Um, very much a holiday town for farmers. Oh, yeah. And do you know what I mean? The yeah, they come here and they there's an awesome... Oh, they're having a wedding there, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe they've just had one. Um, oh, nice. Uh, there's an awesome little forest here where people go biking. And it's just fantastic biking, apparently. We haven't done it yet, but um, you'll post up there. Oh, I see two motorbikes. There's one of them runs. Yes. Ah, yeah. they're not at the pub. Oh, they'll be at the cafe. Oh, they're at the cafe, not the pub. All right, let's go and see. That's cool. What's that, a triumph? Come on, get your fat yeah. ass off. You want to put your stand down? Okay, backseat driver. Well, I have to because <laughs> I'm the safety officer. I do forget, I must admit. I know you do, like, oh, shit, I just about being knocked that one over. Um, look in here, look, motorbikes. There's a motor guzzy, a Ducati. Hello. Hey. We thought you'd be at the pub. <laughs> Sorry we're late. We're staying the night. <laughs> and a cake. All right, mate. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> right, let's go to our really luscious 
accommodation. Our amazing man, Sean. Um, oh. I'm Peter, turn around, babe. Okay. Look at those giant pine cones. Oh, they are giant, aren't they? Can right. I take one home? No. You never let me take anything. Well, what are you going to do? Put a, d a pine cone down your leathers? <laughs> We've got suitcases. Get your ass on. I think someone's looking at your bike. Oh. I think it was the bike man. Ah. Uh. He was looking at your bike. He just walked up the driveway. Oh look, other human beings. Is there, um, is it down here, is it? I thought it was. Yeah. Is it up the street here? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Look at the size of them trees, they're amazing. I know. Is that a cowrie? Uh, no, it's a pine tree. <laughs> is it? Yeah. <laughs> There's a bloody monster. Wow, that's a freak. That one. I'm pretty confident it's up here. Right, and you go up, up left, do you? I don't know. Outer. Oh no, this is right, this is right, up here. No, I think we're going to freeze tonight with our little sheets and our thin little blanket. Now we'll be fine. Wear my, my jeans and jumper. This is not the right way, but it's nice to see a bit of Naseby. Um, let's try down here. Maybe you're right, maybe it is left up that one there. It is by the pub, the street opposite the pub. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, I think so. It's, it's down past the camp. Motor camp, it's here, I knew it. Oh, okay, I was wrong. Um, you were right, it's 2,000 feet um, above sea level here. Okay. It's a bicyclist. Right, here we go. It honestly looks like it's about to rain. It is, oh my goodness. No, it won't, it won't, it won't. Like Here we go. Years. Welcome to the Larch View Holiday Park. I just love it. There's these beautiful big trees here. Little cabins. And like, sit. Watch out for the pine cones, It's like stepping back in time. I feel like I'm in the 60s or something coming here. I know. I love it. It's cool. <laughs> right. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Let's go to the office. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I'll meet you up there. Yeah, we can, you put them in the top box. Exactly, I just need to get out these leathers. Thank <laughs> you.
thing called a race, which is what gold miners hand dug to get the water um, to where they were gold mining. And we've been told that at the end of this race, which is quite long, <laughs> it's kilometers and kilometers long, hand dug um, back in the day, um, at the end is a gold mining town or an area of some description. So we're walking to find out for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, We've been walking for about two hours. We've finally found. We've done a mess of loads. We've done. A, we found some stuff now. We found some stuff. It's a big pipe. <laughs> it's a it's better be bloody worth it. Oh yeah, so that's the nozzle. Go and play with the nozzle, babe. Uh. <laughs> well, that's what they used to blast. Blast it at the, the sides of the hills. This, this thing's really big. Pretty cool that it's a wet though. Yeah. It used to fire the rubble through the sluice. Should I read it out? The nozzle rolled stones through the stone chute while fine material washed through the perforated bottom. In the gold saving box, pebbles rolled over the plates and fine gravel washed down the coconut matting which trapped gold and heavy sand. Light sand and so it was washed into the trail race with the water. Cool. There's a diagram of how it worked. Hot. Okay, here we go. Cool. Well, we've been for our walk. We didn't find much in the way of gold mining stuff, <laughs> did we? But here we go. This is the cabin. Are we going to go inside it? Yeah, go on. Why not? Very messy. Open up the curtains. Get some light in here. This is the cabin. It's luxury. <laughs> it's pretty nice actually, to be fair. It's very messy because we've just dumped everything. Cool, so we're going to go and eat. We'll sign off now and... Um, see you after dinner. See, no, no, we'll, we'll sign off and do another vlog in the morning. Okay.